They're trying to take away our culture. They're trying to take away our history. And our weak leaders, they do it overnight. The media is simply responding to people who are there protesting and to the story of the statues being taken down. The media hasn't called for the statues to be taken down. Um, so I don't understand when he says the media is trying to take away your culture. What is... Well, I mean, I, I do think that one of the conservative critiques of the media, and this has been true for as long as I've been alive and probably <laughs> before that, is that the media have an agenda, a political agenda, and they hide behind this patina of objectivity in order to press forward this political agenda. You know, Don, you were very passionate about President Trump's statements about the media last night, and I think some of that was justified, but I think a lot of it actually goes to what his base thinks, which is they think that you have an animus particularly for President Trump, that you have an animus for his agenda on things like Confederate statues. I think you personally probably want to see these Confederate statues come down. I mean, would you, don't you, is that true? I mean, I, I would assume you do. I, listen, I lived in the South for a long time, and to tell you the truth, I, I knew the statues are there. I was offended by the statues. Whether they should come down, I would leave it up to the individuals. But I do think that they are insulting to people, just as you would. Would you want to see a statue of Hitler as, as a? No, Jewish I totally person, understand right? your point of view. The would point you want is to go to, point which view, I made right? earlier. Would you want to go to? And listen, we shouldn't pretend that there's this fake objectivity. Everyone has a point of view. It doesn't mean that you're biased. And so, but just well, to get people to understand, as a Jewish person, you would not want to go to a Hitler high school. Well, that of same effect, African-Americans, that has the same effect. Robert E. Lee has the same effect on African-Americans. And so, and also the Confederate flag. And so I think we have to be understanding of each other. It's not that I don't like the president or I have an agenda against the president. I'm simply speaking the truth as I see it. Okay, so, and, and I totally understand that, but his, what he's saying and what his people are hearing is mm -hmm. he's saying essentially that you do have an agenda in terms of what you think, promulgating what you think about Confederate statues. You have a clear point of view on that. That's a perfectly acceptable and I think understandable point of view, but the implication is that you are an objective reporter who's actually propagating a point of view, whatever that point of view may be. I mean, you just said openly that you don't think that your point of view is biased, but your point of view clearly is biased. But I mean, what you, I, what I said like about the, the president you, last night coming out of his speech had nothing to do with statues. I was talking about his behavior on stage. So I, and, that had nothing to total, do with that. Yeah. Again, totally understood. But the way that it read is that you have a personal animus toward the president, and that's the way he wants to play it. So no. whether that's true or not, that's the way that a lot of his followers are going to take it. I only have a personal animus towards ignorance when people don't know their history, whether that's the president of the United States, a guest on this show, or someone I speak to on the street. I think if you're going to be able to, you need to be able to defend yourself. And, and in order to defend yourself, in order to have a, a right, clear perspective, you need to know history and you need to be educated about it. And in many ways, I think people who are fighting for these issues are not.